time, Corja! Another one. Down that way! You impertinent brutes! Don't you come any closer! Do you even realize who you're dealing with? This can't be the end. Quit screaming and hollering before you rile them up even more! My pleas are answered! can you be? You should have sprung to my aid the moment you spotted me! Excuse me? You got some nerve taking an attitude with the people who bailed you out. You're real gussied up. Doesn't seem like you're from around these parts, though. That's... What concern is that of yours, pray tell? Y you're right. Being ambushed by those creatures has me all of a dither. Oh, goodness. I truly am a pampered, spoiled thing, aren't I? What in hell is she mumbling about? My name is Millette. I am... a traveler passing through. Ahem. Forgive my lapse in manners. As it happens, I have a request to make of ones so capable as yourselves. You see, I am rather eager to continue down this highway to the next town over. But those peculiar wolves litter the path ahead. Might I request that you dispatch them and ensure my safe passage? Hang on. You're not about to tell us there's even more people farther up the road, are you? Uh, not at all. There were no signs of anyone save for myself. I. We don't have time to entertain your selfish whims right now. Take the path we came here on. The local militia will be there to protect you. <sighs> It would seem there's no insisting otherwise. Very well. I shall do as you suggest. That scream just now... I think it came from over there. Pharos Lighthouse, to be exact. Any vessel traversing these waters depends on it. I think the man who tends the place is living there with his kid. Get away from there at once! Blast! There's no time to lose. Those girls are in danger! Who are you two? Stay back! This won't take us long. Thank you for coming to my rescue. Aren't you that same lad from Rusveri's place? Oh, never mind that. I could really use your help right now. I, I should say so. 
The lighthouse has been overrun by beasts. Not only is my daughter still inside, but Rosalind too. She had merely come by to pick some flowers. Rosalind? That the girl whose family runs the inn? Please, save them! I beg of you! We'll make our way in, but whether they die or survive is up to them. Living is a choice, one those two have to make on their own. I hear you. Let's go. here. Treasure ahoy! Huh? 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 Let's get huh? 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 Hit! 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 Hit!
Make it in time? Should be a good spot to rest. Someone will be here to rescue us any moment now. You did good, kid. Now stay back and watch us finish the job. Uh, okay. Thank the stars. You're not hurt, are you? Oh, Daddy! <laughs> I was <laughs> so scared! <laughs> oh, Sash. We saw how you tackled that thing, Addle. You two were awesome with a capital A. Right, Commander? I told you he knows his stuff. That he does. Even without that strange power, his swordsmanship goes beyond his years. He and the young lady here were so in sync, I thought my eyes were playing tricks on me. It's because of you both that Rosalind and my little girl came out unharmed. I can't possibly thank you enough. The other travelers who were along the highway are fine as well, save for a few minor injuries. Adol, Karsha, you've got our gratitude. Uh, <sighs> Grin! Rosa, I didn't even realize you left town. It's a good thing you're okay, though. I don't think your folks could take it if something happened to you, too. <sighs> oh, right. Me and Rosa here have been friends since we were little. So I owe you for saving her, too. Thanks a million. Paddle, just what were those creatures? That's something we're still trying to get a handle on ourselves. 
But let's hold off on it until we get back to Karnak. Might be a good idea to fill the mayor in on the situation and hash things out ASAP. A long day. Can't wait to chow down back at the inn. Wait, do they even have any empty rooms? And again, yeah. these cuffs will probably... We can worry about... Short time no see! Almost too short. Oh, come on, buddy. Don't be like that. I know it's a little last minute, 
But after talking stuff out, we decided to throw you to a welcome party. Starting now. A welcome party? For us? Don't mind him, Karja. Really, it's more that we want to repay you for everything you did earlier. All of us are around the same age, so we hope to sit you down for a chat and see where it goes. I'll just come out and say it. Long story short, we want to be friends with you guys. <sighs> friends? Uh, hey, you forgetting to ask someone? Hey, I, I promise you won't regret it. That settles that. We'll lead the way. Didn't this area used to be a shipyard? Huh. I'm surprised you know about that. The Sandras. They say she's due to be scrapped, but she's been sitting here as long as I can remember. Right this way, you two. all this I'm glad you asked welcome to the secret headquarters of the Karnak free youth brigade Ugh. are you really still set on that whole youth brigade thing you never change Gren by which I mean never learn or grow up <laughs> oh yeah you want to say that again to my fist now now break it up boys is this any way to act in front of our guests Wait, you were... Actually, now that I get a good look, this room... Well, all of us were born and raised here in Karnak, so we grew up alongside each other. This place has been our usual gathering spot ever since we were little. I'm a bit older than the others, though, so it's been some time since my last visit. So, yeah, we still get together here every now and then. The two of you wound up our main topic of discussion today after everything that's happened. No sooner did we consider inviting you over than Gren the Goofball here bolted out the door. Sorry for letting him off his leash. I'll bet he's pestered you half to death by now. You keep calling me a goofball and I might actually go brain dead! Then what will you do, hmm? No worries there. Your brain's been fried since the minute you came out the womb. We really are sorry about the trouble. Still, there are a lot of things I'd like to ask you two about. We may be in the same age group, but there's a certain aura of mystique around you. I couldn't agree more. Would you mind going into detail about that power you used to save us? I get the sense everyone here is trying to make you feel welcome in their own little way. You're not obliged to humor us, of course. Though I suppose you wouldn't have come along at all if you were against it. Don't forget, the less these people know about my background, the better. I'll let you take the reins here, so try not to slip up. Well, no need to be shy. Have a seat over here and make yourselves comfortable. You travel around in search of adventure? Get out of here! That's flippin' awesome! Now I can see why you were so excited about the story of the Sea King's throne back at the inn. And everything you know about sword fighting is self-taught? Man, the life you must have led. And at only 17, too. That makes you the same age as Rafe. Cruz and I are 16, just one year younger. And Gren here finally got his dream job with the militia after turning 18, right? Technically, he's still in training on account of all the trouble he stirs up. <laughs> that sounds about right. Wouldn't be Gren otherwise. Ah, oh, cram it. I forget, though. How old are you, Mira? I'm sorry. What was that? Might want to walk it back. Or your next trip to the clinic might land you in the morgue. P point taken. That reminds me, Rafe. How's working away from home been? You got a living position at the mines in the countryside, right? Yeah, I've gotten used to it, more or less. 
Plus, the pay's decent enough. Anything to help my mom out, you know? Wraith. Bet you don't get much free time either, Cruz, now that you're helping the family business. Guessing you gave up your goal of being a shipwright? I may as well have. That's just the way it goes. It was only ever a childhood fantasy anyway. How are things in the militia, Gren? Commander Gulliver seems pretty put together, at least. It's fulfilling work, sure, but the commander's got less of a backbone than you would think. And by now, our rock-bottom pay is a joke everybody's in on. Can't do much about that except complain to your old man. All that extra money from downsizing the militia's staff and budget goes towards the Balta Sea Force's protection fee. It was the mayor who made the choice to take that huge chunk out of your funding. Hey, Gren, was it? Am I connecting the dots right about your dad here? Whoops. Did I forget to mention? Sucks to say, but yeah. The guy you talked to at the clinic, Mayor Clement, and his son. It's ironic. I joined the militia as a way to stand on my own two feet, and my dad still finds a way to give me grief. Grief is kind of a strong word there, bud. Uh, sorry. I should know better than that. All right, you three. You're starting to talk like our regulars over at the tavern. Ooh, that bad, huh? We did sound about three times older just now. So, how'd you find yourself in these parts, Adol? Up north? Oh, well, now, you're not about to tell us you're actually a Norman, are you? He wouldn't have come on foot if that were the case. I was told you met Dogie and Dr. Flair during your travels. Yeah? So how does Karja fit into the picture? Me? Well, I am a Norman. Ah, <sighs> hell. Uh... <sighs> well, I think the Norman people come in all different strokes these days. Th that's true. Just look at how amicable Anar is. Besides, Karja had a hand in saving us, so... Hold that thought. Uh, <sighs> What's got you worked up all of a sudden? I hear shouting. And that's not all. <sighs> Who could that be? Gren! Gren! Are you in there? Pops? Is that you? Keep the door shut and listen to me! Under no circumstances are any of you to leave that room! What? Why not? Crap! It won't open! Pops! Pops! <laughs> What's going on out there? Sounds like screaming. And cannon fire. Gone quiet. Shit! Hey! Answer me, damn you! Waiting around in here won't do us any good. We gotta see what happened for ourselves. Why? Shit! Gren, wait! That ah, dumbass. The rest of us are probably better off hanging back for now. Aye. You stay put. There's no telling who we're up against, Adel. But chances are this is a ring. Let's go check on the command post. Go! 
should have left by now. There's not a single lookout to be seen. No Norman worth their brawn would abandon their post during an attack. They're Grieger all over, too. This is starting to feel less and less like your typical raid. Doesn't seem like Ren's in the area, either. Let's take our search elsewhere. Everyone! Here goes! Shatter! Shatter! To the Crap! Not these things again! Adel. some stragglers, did you? A shame they aren't quite what we're looking for. What? <laughs> they may have fallen short of the mark, but that doesn't mean they can't be put to good use. I do so despise pointless waste, after all. It vexes me to my core. The, the hell are you on about? You there, redhead. Unlike the other inhabitants, you seem rather intriguing. Still, a miss is a miss. You'll simply have to serve me in other ways. Oh? There's something off about you. It, it healed! Doesn't that make her... A Grieger... in human form? This is the first I've seen or heard of one. <laughs> well, aren't we a vexatiously spirited bunch? Perhaps a little roughing up is in order before I bring you to heal. What say I teach you some discipline? Oh. Oh. How's this? Stop! 
Dieter! This witch. You, you two sure you've got this? If only I hadn't run off all half-cocked. What's this? My wounds aren't healing? Don't tell me you two are the ones he was talking about. There. Another scar for the road. <sighs> this can't be, you lowly human filth. I, you're the Dorson, am not your canvas. Never have I been so vexed! Wretched girl, don't think yourself more than a blustering mongrel! Come, my minions! What the hell are these guys? Gregor, all of them! Shred her face into a miserable pile of flesh! That wench will know humiliation! We're on our last legs. Adol! I should be asking the same of you. It's been quite some time since this island had a visitor. Or perhaps I should say that those who come to visit are never quite aware of it. I see. 
A pleasure to make your acquaintance at all. Welcome to Viewpoint Isle, the site of my solitary existence for forever and a day now. Long have I been waiting upon this island. So long, in fact, that in time I have forgotten to what end I do so. Even my own name has escaped me. But, be that as it may, all I can do now is remain patient. You, on the other hand, appear to have elsewhere to return. I wish you all the best. Hey, Adol! This is no time to be spacing out! You okay? chance to break through their ranks. Move out! Right! No pity, no mercy, no forgiveness! They think this is over. Evie, to me! I don't care how many limbs you have to tear off. Seize those gutter snipes and drag them back before my feet! <laughs> Let's hide out at the old shipyard for now. We can flee town from there. Yeah, Rosa and them are waiting on us. Holy... what's with that walking mountain? Another Greeker? Adol! There's a shortcut to the shipyard over this way! Adol! Gren! Hurry! The road's blocked! Break through! The hell's that Musclehead's problem? Either keep yeah. running or die wondering! Yeah. Now it's barrels? Yeah! Slide to 
the bottom! A fallen tree? Grab Get over it! Stop! They're already here? Then where did everyone else go? Shh. Hey, anything turn up? Nah, not a soul left to be found. <laughs> Am I crazy, or are those things talking? <sighs> These humanoid Grieger might be a nastier threat than we realized. Those brats from earlier must have been the only ones hiding out then. Oh yeah? And where are they now? I brought them along with. All humans are to be presented to Lady Yurv. They were captured? Stay calm? Our friends are in danger and you want me to stay calm? Screw that, I'll save them alone if I have to! What can you possibly do? Son of fuck! Adding fuel to the fire will just make everyone burn. We're out of escape routes. Don't have the strength left to trade blows with that lunk. So instead, I'll hack off my hand and act as a decoy. That way, only one of us has to go down. It's been left to rot for who knows how long. But we got nothing else to lose. We made it to open waters. How? The Normans are a seafaring people. You'd have a harder time finding a warrior who doesn't know his way around a helm. Would feel more at ease if the lighthouse beacon were on. But we should be able to make do by starlight. <laughs> I'm still in rough shape. Can't you tell? <sighs> Come here. I'll teach you the basics of handling a ship. A short break will do me some good anyway. Mind taking the wheel for me? coming after us. We were right to escape by boat. Set our heading west-southwest. First step is to meet up with the Balta Sea Force. How about that? You're a regular coxswain already. Guess I can leave things be a while without you running us aground. I should have some of my strength back after resting up a bit. The helm's all yours in the meantime.
side places around halfway between Karnak and Balta Island right now. Seems you're starting to get a feel for steering. Enough to keep me astir, at least. About those humanoid Grieger, by the way. I'd never even known they existed. Your guess is as good as mine. The bestial kind's been showing up here and there in Obelia Gulf for a long time now. Me and Grimson, my old man, have been wiping him out with no one else the wiser. Some are in on it, others aren't. And I think Grimson's been making some kind of investigation into the Grieger too. But he still won't tell me a damn thing. Other than that I should look into him myself if I'm so curious. Or that carving one's path through the waters is the Norman way of life. Haven't heard so much as a scrap about it. Apparently, I started being able to use mana at around ten years old. Ever since, I've been tasked with culling the Grieger herd without ever knowing why. I always assumed an explanation would follow once I became a full-fledged warrior. So, with that as my guiding thought, I worked as hard as I could, and... Well... In what way are we anything alike? What?! And now you're just playing me for a sap. How could anybody be oblivious to the whole damn- Wait. Is that what ends up happening when you're born and raised in the mountains? So, there's folks out there who know nothing about the ocean. And I knew nothing of them. That why you set off on this adventure of yours? To learn more about what you didn't know? I wonder... Is there more I'd like to find out too? About myself, maybe? really raise my hackles. These cuffs aren't an invitation to read my feelings, got it? <laughs> Why'd it take me this long to... Something the matter? Those ships... It's the Grieger. No two ways about it. Not just one, either. It's a whole miniature armada. They've got us in fire and range. We're too short on manpower to fight our way out. One extra pair of hands on deck would at least give us a chance. Look no further, then. Just now, yeah. I've got a few choice words for you both, but there's bigger fish to fry right now, and I don't want to make another bonehead mistake. What can you do? I took artillery training as part of my drills in the militia. Cannon duty it is. Sure thing. I'll give it my best shot. All right, Adol. Prepare for naval combat!
Reinforcements? Shit! There's no end to them! <laughs> They're out to ram us! Who the heck? It's them! Right then, full speed ahead! Send a message to all vessels. Maintain spindle formation and crowd sails. From there, proceed as planned. Aye, sir. Walter Sea Force, close in and prepare to board. For har! For har! Talk about swashbuckling. There's not a trace of fear on any of them. Aye. We wouldn't have the right to call ourselves Normans otherwise. Still, they're against the undead. It's a losing battle. Not for him. <sighs> Moment of truth. Let's get this over with. Fight well, Jarl Grinson. I won't be long. A pleasant evening to ya. Too bad. It's the last you'll ever get! one guy do all that by himself? Wait, is he who I think he is? Grimson Balta. My old man, and the Jarl of the Balta Sea Force. It's not just Mana, either. He triggered what we call a Berserker State. Berserk? What now? On top of wielding Mana, he can go Berserk whenever he pleases. It's a form of combat that only develops in a select few, turning their heightened emotions into raw power. The user gains monumental strength at the cost of their senses, causing them to fight till their stamina runs dry. But from what I'm told, Grimson's got the power to bend it to his will. Excellently done, my y'all. The enemy force is on a reciprocal course. In retreat, most likely. Shall we give chase? Hmm. Pass. Those whore sons are like a lizard's tail, the way they always come back. I ain't letting you put my nose to the grindstone all willy-nilly. Be that as it may, do you suppose they were intending to turn Karnak into their stronghold? Far from it. They were only there to mount a search. Still, to think those Grieger would cobble together a whole damn fleet of their own. Guess that means the time's finally arrived. Hey! That ship's closing in on us! The Norgist. Flagship of the Balta Sea Force. <laughs> the princess. I am relieved to see you unharmed. Same to you, Gunnar. Not once did I expect such an ordeal to befall Karnak. You would have avoided it entirely had I not insisted you remain there. My deepest apologies. It's fine. We'll be sending a scouting party to the town at once. 
Though you must be exhausted, we would have you recount the events to us later. Got it. Hoi there, Karja. Really went through the grinder today, eh? Grimson. <laughs> What's with the getup? You suddenly develop an eye for fashion? B bite your tongue! Eh, I suppose that's neither here nor there. Not with everything going to hell in a handbasket. That boy over there, the mana user? Likewise. I've heard bits and pieces about what you've been through. Probably has your mind swimming in questions. I've only got one thing to say, though. You, lad, are gonna be helping us out. Can't have enough mono-wielders in these trying times, am I right? Crimson... Hey! Hold on a second! Those goons kidnapped the entire population of Karnak! They what? We didn't realize it had come to that point. Protecting the town was part of the deal my pops made with you, wasn't it? So go save them! If you don't, who will? Oh yeah, you're Clement's boy, ain't ya? Let me offer a little reminder. We Normans ain't defenders of justice. We're lawless brigands. 